Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are learning in our room DNS in detail. I reset it, it's in the pre security path. All right, let's get right into it. So it's still a beginner room, but we're getting close of doing more like scripts and uh, action items. Let's see. So DNS in detail, learn how DNS works and how it helps you access the internet services. So there is a YouTube uh, clip that TriHack Me has. I'm just gonna show you guys how to complete these tasks, answer questions, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So task one, what is DNS? As you can see, it's very simple. It's basically translating numbers into websites that we can read. So answer the questions below what does dns stand for as you read through the task is domain name system let me type this domain name system all right let's go task two domain hierarchy so it talks about top level second levels answer the questions below what is the link maximum length of a subdomain so on the subdomain paragraph, the maximum is 63 characters. All right, next question, which of the following characters cannot be used in a subdomain? There's example, as you read, you can only use these characters and hyphens, so you can't use, I guess that's called under slash underscore. Yeah, there you go. What is the maximum length of a domain name? As you read through it, it says the length must be kept 250 characters or less. All right. And last question is what type of L TLD is dot CO dot UK? As you read through, Examples right here, it is geographical purposes. So I believe it's CCTLD. Cool. All right. Task three record types. So it talks about different types of records. Uh, these come in handy later. You'll get used to it as you remember the names. So answer your questions below. What type of record would be used to advise where to send email? The keyword is email and you remember it's MX right here. MX. Last question. What type of record handles IPv6 addresses? As you familiar size uh, different type of records, triple quadruple A is always IPv6. So, task four, making a request. Talks about what happens when you make a DNS request under this visual diagram depiction. So answer the questions below. What field specifies how long a DNS record should be cache for? And I believe It is TTL time to live value. Yep. Next question: What type of DNS server is usually provided by your ISP? As you read through this task, recursive DNS server is usually provided by your internet service provider. There you go. Last question, what type of server holds all the data or all the records for a domain? And I believe is alter, alternative, let's see. Yep, there you go. And the last task, practical. Use the website on the right. We can build requests to make DNS queries and view the results. 
the website will show you the command you'll need to run on your own computer you wish to make the request yourself all right let's click view site all right what is in C name of shop.website.thm so so you go over here select C name it's already pre-fill so you just put right here shop.website.thm you click send DNS requests and this is the name conigo name copy and paste there you go next question what is the value of txt record of website.thm so you switch your text it's already pre-filled that's it no subdomain is needed in the terminal it means that you don't need to type in anything you just click send dns requests again this is the answer copy and paste there you go what is the numerical priority value of for the mx record again just switch to mx i was already pre-filled click sent the number should be 30 that's indicated here and last question what is the IP address for the 8 record of www.website.thm so you switch to A prefill again and click send and the address is 10.10.10.10 and all right, that's it, guys. Complete the room. You can click Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, as I share on LinkedIn already. Uh, if you like this video, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment below how to improve these videos. And uh, just a little bit by myself. I do not have any IT experience, but uh, this is um, trying to pivot to that career. And this helps me to learn in the IT industry. And currently, I am CompTI certified in IFT plus, A plus, CYS, A plus, pen test plus, and security plus. Um, it's still active. I started since uh, August uh, 2022. And I did this on my own time and my on my own money. So this is something I like to do and I'll maybe do a video of how I pass these tests. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time. See ya.